I've driven from the high desert to the aptly named low desert. I'm surrounded by saguaro cacti and hot weather and I don't know, or desert. There's constant gunfire in the distance from what looked like children with handguns shooting at trash. Did you hear that nice creak? So dude, you're living in your car. Where do you keep all your food? Well, allow me to show you. Pretty sophisticated. We got a bin, we got food in the bin. And we've got a cooler. Eggs, veggies, beer, ice, everything you need. So what are we making today, chief? Or chef? Today, we're making burritos. I actually stopped ahead of time at a Safeway and picked up all the things we need. Some shredded cheese. Let's get some fake meat in there, huh? Yum. If you want to grow up big and strong, gotta eat your vegetables. Let's see. Find the most Mexican sounding stuff you can. Ultimate Southwest blend. Yes. Taco mix. Oh. Salsa? Tortilla. Avocado. Some whiskey. Just kidding. What am I in? High school? Some whiskey. Just kidding. What am I employed? Ah, some whiskey. Today is a good day. Today I'm not parked in a Walmart. So I can cook outside. This is our countertop. We will not be spilling any eggs on our bed today. This helpful log is helping us straighten out our countertop. So, where are my ingredients at? Okay, step one. You pour yourself some whiskey. Today we got some bullet rye. Now you would think, because we're making burritos, I we've got something like tequila, but that's pretty gross. No one should drink tequila. Very important step is that you make sure you pour it in your Waffle House cup. It's 2 p.m. I'm in the desert. There's people shooting guns. There's quads and dirt bikes riding around everywhere. And I'm drinking whiskey and making burritos. I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Stove. What do we do first? Let's grill up some meat. These off-roaders are gonna ride by and wonder what the hell is this guy doing on the back of his car? Just pretend you don't see him. Drink some whiskey, that'll deter him. Brown some beef. I'm sure they've seen weirder things. Ah, oh, he's just doing a cooking show in the desert. Don't mind him. Now while you're fixing your camera phone, you let the meat burn. Adds flavor, character. Throw some bourbon on there. Taco seasoning mix. Stir that in. Throw that in this pot for now. Cook up some more stuff. They actually sound Canadian. I wonder if they're Canadian. No, I don't think so. All right, let's fry up some veggies. I was gonna go with a uh, reed fried beans, but I figured I need more vegetables in my life. Let those guys go by. <laughs> Welcome to Arizona. What was I saying? Yes, veggies. Uh, I don't eat enough veggies when I am living in my car. It's tough. Eat a lot of carrots. A lot of carrots. Iris, you can verify. I love carrots. So yesterday I hiked out of the Grand Canyon. I was there for three days. Uh, before that I was at the tallest point in, uh, in Arizona. And then the Colorado is the lowest point, so it was really cool going from the tallest point to the lowest point in uh, about 24 hours. Yes! Yo no se mañana. I don't know the rest of the words. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm just outside Phoenix right now, about 2,000 feet elevation. Uh, I was previously in Williams, that was about 6,000 feet up. Uh, they were supposed to get snow tomorrow, so I got as far away from there as possible. I'm telling you, I'm avoiding snow. Apparently it's 50 degrees back in New England though. Uh, that's not fair. Hopefully that comes your way soon enough. I know it's not even Christmas yet, but I wanna feel like I'm accomplishing something out here. Veggies are no longer frozen. Pour those in here. Put this over here just to keep it warm. So the Grand Canyon was awesome. Uh, took a lot of photos, had a really good time going through them. And uh, I'm really happy with the way a lot of them came out. Uh, if you wanna check out 
any of those photos, you can check them out on my blog. There's a link right here. All right, enough shameless self-promotion. No shame. So I'm slowly learning that tortillas are perfect for everything. You can put whatever you want on a tortilla and it's gonna taste good. Let's put burrito stuff in the tortilla. So, some meat, fake meat, I know. If you're actually using these videos for the purpose of learning how to cook, um, which I doubt, but you use whatever you want. Carne asada, I don't know, fish? People love fish tacos, I don't get it. It's important when you're filling a burrito, you always fill it too much. I mean, at least I do. I always put too much in. So what's key is the strip. You gotta just do a strip of food down the middle. Let's put the veggies on top of the meat. I don't think the order matters. You're gonna eat it. Cheese, let's throw some cheese on there. Some avocado and some salsa. So folding a burrito, I like to fold one side over, pull in the food, get the edges, and then roll it like this. And there you have it. A burrito in the desert. That's amazing. Mm, I still don't know why people drink tequila. No one from that group asked me what the hell I was doing out here. If I was one of them, I would have. Stupid little blue Saturn in the middle of the desert. Camera set up, making burritos on top of a, a box. Kind of weird. Can you hear me now? What should I cook next? Gonna grow the beard out. I still get beggars asking me for money, so I need to grow the beard out more. So I uh, either look unapproachable or look homeless. Or both, I guess. Today's video was sponsored by Bullet Rye. Drink it, it's delicious.